Folks, my name is Brian and you're watching Survival On Purpose. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video is going to be about the Schrade SCHF1 Hollow Handle One Piece Extreme Survival Knife. It's kind of like the Rambo knives which were so popular in the 80s, only much, much improved. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, so this is the Schrade SCHF1 Extreme Survival One Piece Drop Forged Spear Point Knife. As the name implies, it is a one-piece design. There's no connection, so it's, it is not just a full tang, it is a tang, I guess, altogether. It's a, the handle is hollow right here. The overall length of this knife is 12.7 inches, so it's a pretty good sized knife from here to here, 12.7 inches. The blade is a full seven and a half inches from here to here, which is a really good sized blade. This thing's pretty hefty, it weighs 1.13 pounds, which is about 18 ounces. It comes with a bit set and we'll look at in the handle, but I pretty much took that out. The steel is matte finished SEA 1070 high carbon steel and it is one piece drop forged, like I said, hollow handle. It's also available in a clip point, which is SCHF2, we'll talk about that, and smaller versions. It comes with this sheath here, which is a, uh, get over here where you can see it. It is a nylon sheath. It's got multiple carry positions on back. You can, you can, um, it's got snaps here. We'll take a closer look at the sheath in a minute. Okay, so like I said, this is a, uh, this knife has a hollow handle. This, and again, this is a pretty good sized knife. It fits your hand very well. The handle is, is knurled. It's kind of one, it's rounded. And again, this is made out of one piece of drop forged steel. So there's no joint to break, crack, or anything. It's all one piece of steel. It's a very hefty knife. It's got a round, round handle with a little bit of a, little bit of a angle in towards the blade here. It's got uh, finger guards, which are great, and it's just a very solid feeling knife. But what's really cool about this knife, in my opinion, is the hollow handle. And this is not like some of those knives you can still buy today, which have a big hollow handle with a compass in the tip and all that, and they're plastic handles, and they, they have a tang about that long about that long which will break right off the first time you try to use them so what's cool about this you can take the handle off the cap off this is a steel cap and has an o-ring as you can see the o-ring right there okay has a lanyard in it and you pull this out and it's got a bit set in it not real certain why on a survival knife you'd need a bit set apparently it's pretty popular i guess it could come in handy if you're using this for for you know, just to have for, for any kind of mechanical breakdown, whatever. But what's, what I like about this is that it comes out. Then you're left with just a plug, which is waterproof. And if you want to use it, you can actually, it fits in like this. and has a little cross piece. You take the lanyard out here, and you put the little cross piece bar here and use it like a wrench. So if you want to use it like a wrench, go for it. Uh, we're not going to talk about that right now. Okay. So if you want to take the lanyard out, you'll see there's a little hole here, and there is an Allen wrench in that hole. One of the, one of the tools that comes with the kit is a little Allen wrench here, which coincidentally fits the Allen wrench here. I don't think it's going to be too tight, but that does, that locks the lanyard down. So you loosen that up, and you'll be able to pull the lanyard right out. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it back up in there, just so it doesn't get lost still there so it kind of blocks the hole off but as you can see inside that is not this hole or the screw hole either one does not come in contact with the opening so once this cap is put on you have a watertight compartment in the handle let's take a look at that right now pretty good size opening I have not measured it but it is longer than my longest finger and at the end it's just kind of small so there's a lot of room in there for doing really whatever you want. You can put a fire kit in there. You can put a fishing kit in there. You can put a mini survival kit with many, several different items in there. And what's great about it is when it's all in there, you screw this back on and it's got an O-ring seal. I always liked the concept of, this, of the Rambo style survival knife with, you know, hollow handle. I just didn't like the fact that it was a, generally most of them were very weak pieces of junk. This, this however, I think it's a really good design. It's a good good take, take on that concept. And it's a big blade. This one is a spear point. They actually have a clip point, which is the SCHF2. You notice this is partially serrated. So you've got a whole, you've got a pretty good bit of real estate here that is non-serrated on this edge. And then you've got a, a serrated kind of special 
flat serrations here for for cutting rope or anything else and generally in a bushcraft knife i'm not i'm not a big fan of serrations in a uh, survival type knife i think they might come in handy because they cut rope a lot better a lot easier and they're just, they're, they are a little more versatile this knife has enough real estate to, to take advantage of both you are going to sacrifice a little bit of fine carving control because you're losing your leverage instead of carving down here on the blade you have to you, you move back a little bit from your grip so you don't get quite as much control it's kind of a trade-off but but in a survival situation i don't think this is a bad trade-off so let's see how well this thing actually works uh, it looks cool okay so i want to do a little chopping and cutting and actual use of the knife but before we do that i want to take a quick look at the sheath a little more detail here this is a ballistic nylon type sheath with multiple carry options one of the cool features is it has a removable little extra pouch and this expands it's got a little elastic on the front of it right here so it kind of expands out uh, it's a pretty good bit of room in there you can see for extra survival gear and this actually on the back this thing snaps down in this velcro and then the, the sheath just velcros off so it comes off and if you want to don't want it on there you just take it right off it's got a velcro on the front in order to put this back on obviously it's not rocket science you guys are pretty smart I just fold these back out of the way, kind of hold them in my hand and get them velcro to velcro, slap it and stick it, reach around behind, and there you go, just fasten it back. So it's, it's very securely, very secure on there. Uh, it's also got the back velcro with a snap also, so you can put this on your pack or anything else. In addition to that, the belt loop at the top actually velcros and loops over. I was kind of hesitant about these kind of designs, but this is pretty good stuff. So once you got it looped over and velcroed, I don't think it's coming off. Um, it's got a lanyard at the bottom. You can strap, lash this down or whatever. A little hook here, like a buckle hook for, for again, a different lashing point. The one thing that's a little not great to me on the sheath, and I really like the sheath, is that it has a plastic insert. If you can see that right there, let's see. Didn't really come out, but it's got like a little plastic insert right there. This is kind of cut at an angle and it doesn't really fit the knife exactly right. So there's a gap on one side. And it also, this strap at the top, although it is adjustable by means of Velcro, so you can adjust the length of it by moving it around, it's kind of difficult to get it where it really keeps the knife from just doing, doing that kind of hard it just really because of the, the spacing between the, the strap and the top of the sheath there's just a little bit of room for the knife to do that I don't think it's coming out but it doesn't, doesn't give me warm fuzzies I would probably take a piece of shock cord at the top and loop it over just to be safe but that's you know that's probably the only slight negative I've found so far with the sheath is that one little clip there so now let's see how well this thing cuts okay so I have here a standing limb on a evergreen tree I think it's a spruce tree that has fallen and it's pretty solid let's just see how well this thing chops because that's what you one of the one of the things you're going to need it for in a survival situation Okay, so pretty solid. Here's the piece we just cut off. Uh, you can see that this knife is way, way big enough to baton, much larger wood than this, but this just happens to be what we cut off, so we'll, we'll, we'll go with it. I don't know if my baton is going to hold up. We're about to lose it on a split. Yes, we did. Well, she went on down a little bit. Let's try it this way. Got 
Okay, so works fine for that. I have no doubt it's just a baton, a bigger piece of wood. Um, it's very strong, very solid. Not really, um, not a whole lot of question about that actually in my mind. Okay, I want to do a little carving, but I want to split this wood down one more time to give us some, some good dry wood. It's been raining here every day for, gosh, I don't know, all week. Been here at Boy Scout camp, been here all week. So you can see the edge. Um, again, we, got a, we have a serrated edge here, which is a little bit of a pain in the neck when you're trying to do some fine work. But we'll just see how well the, the non-serrated portion. So you gotta be careful when you're trying to carve a feather, once you hit the serrated side, it kind of slices off. So you gotta try to keep it back here on the non-serrated edge, which is a little bit more of a hassle. But that's pretty good. I uh, can't really complain about that. So for carving, it is not perfect, but it does a great, it does, it's sharp enough from the factory to cut some pretty good curls, which is, you know, a lot of people test their edges with paper. I'm not planning on cutting paper, probably with a knife in the survival situation, so I try to use it in real world anyway. So for the uh, sharpness test, that's pretty good. Uh, what I always try to do and, and if it's going to be a true survival knife, it's going to need to be able to strike a ferro rod, in my opinion. Now, I don't know. We'll see how this thing goes. It's got a coating, and it's a reasonably square edge. Let's just see what happens. It's very wet here, so don't worry about me starting a fire. I mean, it's been raining all morning. But can't complain about that. I've also got... I like to make fat wood handles for my fire steels, and that's where you can scrape a little tinder off here. And it actually works pretty good for that. It scrapes it off pretty good. So, I have to pass it on that test. All right, well, that was the uh, performance testing, and just kind of wrap up the review of the Schrade SC hf one one piece solid high carbon steel survival knife and just a quick recap on the uh, chopping did really really great this thing weighs around a pound or a little more and so it's got enough heft it's got enough length on it the uh, one thing about chopping is it doesn't really have any kind of a, a flare on the butt so it kind of wants to ten, ten, has a tendency to slide out of your hand as you're chopping there's nothing to really you know, some knives have, have a, a flare on, on the butt here. But so it does have a place for lanyards. You can hook a lanyard in there. It chops pretty well. But it did a great job on the, um, on the batoning. Look, man, it's a solid hunk of steel. Of course, it's going to baton fine. The blade's wide enough to get, get a little split going. Um, so it did a great job on that. Carving, um, less than perfect. Just, and I think that's just because of the serration here. Because you, you, you lose a little leverage once you so it takes a little skill getting used to it but once you get past that once you get your hang of it it carves great you've got a really good edge on it it did a feather stick great just a little little harder to control because of the the leverage you're going to have on your wrist because of that extra space there but you get you do have the advantage in a survival situation of having the serrations which are very handy if you need to cut some rope or cut bind or anything you know cordage or cut a seat belt or cut strapping or anything like that so i think in most cases, I don't like serrations for a wilderness blade. For a survival blade, I think they're probably a good idea. They just add versatility. And the more versatility you can have in a survival tool, in my opinion, the better. Uh, so carving did great. Actually, once you, get the, uh, once you get the coating worn off, it struck a ferro rod just fine. No problem whatsoever. It's got the one-piece sealed chamber in the handle and with o-ring so that is a big big deal to me i think that's great it gives you the opportunity to really carry a small ferro rod and some um fire starter if nothing else in here and even if you lose your sheath whatever however that would happen with not you losing your knife i don't know but you'd have it here you've also got the extra pouch on the sheath to carry stuff so with this and the sheath you can really have a very adequate you know mini survival kit it's not going to have everything you need and this is not 
a perfect knife because there's going to be compromises. So anytime you're looking at a survival tool, you're going to have to make compromises. You know, what, what you give up in carving, you gain in chopping or you gain in um, the ability to baton wood because you have a longer blade. You give up a little carving, but you gain the serration, so it allows you a little more versatility. All in all, it's a great knife. I give this a 4.999 on oh my, just give it a five, what the heck. It's a, I, I really like this knife. I think this is a great, great deal. 50, 60 bucks anywhere, or a lot of places anyway. And I don't think this knife will ever go wrong. It's, it's high carbon, drop forged, one piece steel. So, I mean, how can you go wrong there? And if you're somebody who for some strange reason might need to throw a knife, don't know why you would want to do that. I mean, this thing is balanced right there. I mean, it's almost perfectly balanced. It's a very, very good design knife. I think Schrade really hit it out of the park on this one. As always, appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to the Survival on Purpose channel. Thanks for giving it the thumbs up. If you like it, let your friends know. And if you'd like to support this channel, just please check out my Amazon store below. Anything you buy on there supports the channel and goes straight to Amazon so you got some great selections. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. See you next time. Mm -hmm.